continue your inward glance and be aware that you are at the very center of the universe, the very center of the cosmos, the very center of the heart, mind of the infinite. For the center is everywhere and the circumference is nowhere. Therefore, where you are is always at the center. Though optical illusion, optical delusion lets us see in part and compartmentalize and get caught in the world of appearances as ultimate reality, but through the art and the science of meditation, you're evoking the great escape revoking, escaping from the limited point of view to beginning to see with your awareness, not merely with your eyes, not merely hearing with your ears, but seeing, real seeing is called beholding. Behold, I continually make all things new. Behold, the essence of the Christ is everywhere. Behold, love and beauty, divine order, everywhere. You move from seeing with your eyes to beholding with your expanded awareness. This is the great escape that occurs in the art and the science of meditation. Like a thief in the night, where you realize over a period of what is measured in time, that you're changing, you're transforming, you're becoming a greater version of yourself, or there's an instant insight, a realization, a satori, an aha moment, where suddenly you see like you've never seen before. Suddenly the things that you see every single day, that you've taken for granted, suddenly loom large in your awareness as life is oozing through the trees around you revealing itself as beauty through the people around you. And the divine order and harmony that you see moving throughout the course of your day, so whether it is a thief in the night that occurs over a period of time or where it's a sudden insight and you begin to see no longer through a glass darkly, no longer through misperception by misidentity, identity, but you begin to see from and as who and what and where and why you really are. Who are you? You're an emanation of the what. You are a unique, distinct expression of the what. Where are you? You're at the center. Why are you? To reflect and to reveal the what, the presence of God. What? Reality, essence, life. And so little by little by little, you find yourself being pulled out of the sea of mental garbage, thought forms emanating from misperception and misidentity that have created a world of appearances of which is replayed to you on a regular basis through your news outlets, which become an inlet for confusion for you. Social media, which is sometimes a hate is fear and gossip and projection of of um, unhealed trauma in people that they just brag about how immature they are on the social media. But you pull away from that and you begin to see that there's an eternal broadcast forever and ever and ever undulating through all creation, a symphony, a divine grace note a promissory note of more good than you could possibly imagine constantly being broadcast everywhere. You're pulled out of the miasma of the sea of mental garbage and you see, oh my God, life is magnificent. It is changeless. And although there will be changes in the world of phenomena, there is something that is changeless and forever. And you begin to operate from that dynamic. And you watch the changes that human beings go through. 
the ups and downs, mentally, emotionally, physically, financially, and you are not hypnotized by that. And what happens? You become a law, a personal law of harmony, of peace, of love, even prosperity, abundance, creativity, forgiveness, generosity. You, that becomes the law of your being regardless of what's happening in the world. And then you'll know the deeper meaning of there will be trials and tribulations in the world, but be of good cheer. For I have overcome the world. That's a promise. You're here transcending and overcoming a world that's not even real. And you become a new personal law, said that even in that world, you will demonstrate health and vitality and vigor and joy and well being, wellness, wholeness, harmonizing prosperity. You will transcend the world. And anchor everything that is necessary for your journey and for your delivery of your gifts, expansion of your consciousness to deliver your talents. And you will no longer fall under the secondary causative factor of the law of everything that has happened affecting you. No, you will be triumphant, sovereign, spiritually liberated from everything going on in the world. You're not denying it. You have deep compassion for it, but you will anchor the love and the peace, the harmony, the compassion, the generosity, the creativity out of no thing but a spiritual idea of what you are. All of this is the promise. When you just sit in the four S's, stillness, silence, sacred solitude, You are a burgeoning Buddha. You are cresting with the Christ. Don't identify yourself any other way. And then when you see each other, wherever, any, wherever anyone is on their spiritual journey, you judge it, judge not. You just inwardly bow to the Buddha within them. You inwardly bow to the Kuan Yin within them. You inwardly bow to the Christ within them. And your inward bow will serve as a dynamic activation, a seed of awakening, of which you will not know when it will sprout. But you'll be planting seeds of awakening rather than seeds of hate and judgment. It's meditating. Again, assume the posture that Reverend Coco brought you into. Your back straight, erect, without being rigid. Today, let's have our face, face, hands facing downward as a sign of being a descended master. That is, we're not ascending and escaping into higher regions and, 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 and leaving this world. No, 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 no. We are bringing to this world heaven. We're bringing heaven to earth. We are allowing our giftedness and our loving and our loving to love, to be active, and we're bringing it here. So we are not simply seeking to be ascended masters, we are seeking to be descended masters. We're bringing the eternal into time. Hmm. Smile on the face. Eyes slightly aware of the space in your heart, your throat, between the eyes, top of the head, energy ro ooh, rolling up. Mm. You're intending to wake up to your glorious nature. Oh, yes, you are. You're very attentive. You are so rich that you're rich enough to pay attention. Your consciousness is so rich that you can pay attention to your intention. Simultaneously, the sacred breath, the awareness that this is the first time you've ever practiced meditation because this is a diff different iteration of yourself. And you're in the deep listening 
not with ears, but with your entire being, to the eternal broadcast saying, let there be light and love and beauty and life. Let it be everywhere. And let these sweet beings be the personification of the all that is. That's us. Listen. Pay attention. You're rich enough to pay attention. If there's been a drift mentally, bring your attention back to your intention to wake up and the attention to the sacred breath that's happening presently. You're at the center and you are a divine center of infinite potential. New law is emerging. The law of well-being, wellness, joy, prosperity, absolute happiness. You're bringing it to the world, to earth.
with every breath there's an expanded awareness that you're right here right now as an ambassador of the presence that is never an absence you are waking up to your glorious nature Another moment, stillness, be still and know that I am God in the midst of you, saith the divine Lord, great law, the Lord of hosts. Silence, be the on-watcher, the onlooker, the witness. You can look at, you can hear the noise, the thoughts, the emotions, the sensations. You are the witness watching it, perfectly still, not judging, not resisting, no, stillness watching, sacred solitude. You're in your fortress of perfect solitude, alone but not lonely. You're surrounded by a supportive loving presence revealing itself as a progressive universe even now Continuing with the inward glance, the eyes closed, seeing the seeming darkness as the light, seeing the seeming darkness as the ooze of creation, the womb of unfolding. We hear the presence saying to us through sacred scripture, Oh, I know the thoughts that I have toward you, thoughts of good and not of evil to give you an expected end. I already know 
the perfection within you that's unfolding. We give thanks in this moment for these precious moments of this global community stopping in this instant opening ourselves up to an ever-expanding awareness of that which is and will be forever. To escape from the limited point of view, we're so grateful. We're so thankful that our blood chemistry changes even in this min minute for the dynamic activation of thanksgiving and gratitude right now. And the recognition of this presence becomes so acute that we cannot help but see the presence of God everywhere. St really love streaming through everything. The broadcast. The stream. Oh, this first wireless technology called prayer is setting us free right now. And feeling so at one with the all. And knowing that the all is at one with us. The very word that is being spoken is its law. Unfolding magnificently through us as divine health and well-being. Wellness and vitality and vigor. Eternal youthfulness. Divine joy and a happiness that does not come from the world. But what we are giving to the world. And a deep sense of safety, because safety is always a state of consciousness. Oh, we give thanks for this. We feel good for the overflow of the presence moving through us right now. We bless this community, otherwise known as Agape International Spiritual Center. And we receive the blessings of the Most High pouring through us right now. We accept it. For as many as accepted, gave them the power to be the sons and daughters of the Most High, the emanations of the Almighty. We yield, we accept, we say yes. This is a great day. And we allow it to be so. And so it is, now and forever. Amen. And Ashe. So you slowly open the eyes, whoever you're with, wherever you are swimming in this ocean of devotion, just bow to someone and see the eternal Christ and Buddha in them. Just bow and say, so be it. Now, so be the frequency. And in this dynamic overflow, let us rise up in integrity and support our spiritual community financially. If there's any resistance to that, just know that's the ego and it's not the real you. You've come to give and to share, to circulate, to radiate, and to contribute in ways beyond your wildest imagination. So don't block your own flow. We give thanks right now for this community, 38 years of celebrating the divine presence. We feel greatly that all of our needs are met and we participate in that wholeheartedly. And so it is. Amen. As you're streaming in from around the globe or right here in the sanctuary, you may take out your phone and you may text the word GIVE to 424-321-6243. This information is on your screen. And for those of you who've never done this before, you'll be prompted by sending or texting the word GIVE to 424-321-6243 and you can set it up to give whatever you want to give It'll go right into the portal of Agape International. If you write the word cover after it, it means you're covering the expense of that technology, which is about a little less than 3% of whatever your offering is today. You can do that right now. If you'd like to Venmo your gift, your donation, your tithe, your offering to the Agape International Spiritual Center, the QR code is on the screen. You may just point your camera. I mean, there used to be, you know, phones, but now they're cameras. Tape recorders, they're everything. So you take the camera portion, put it right there in the QR code, shine it, and it'll take you into the same portal, and you may give, and you may set it up to give on a regular basis. If you want to go just directly through your computer, you can go to at, or on your phone, Agape International Spiritual Center, and center is spelled C2R. You'll find the real bona fide Agape International Spiritual Center under charities using at Agape International Spiritual Center CTR. You can do that right now. 
If you'd like to uh, go to directly to our website, beautiful. Go to agapelive.com. You'll see the donation banner. There you'll, you'll decide what you want to give. You'll check out. From, it looks like you're checking out from the Alice's Quiet Mind Bookstore. You're really checking into your eternal and ever-expanding prosperity through the activation of your giving. You can do that now. If you'd like to mail it in, donations, tithes, gifts, and offerings, make it out to checks, money orders, to Agape International. Send it to 8549 Wilshire Boulevard Suite, 1156 Beverly Hills, California, 90211. If you're outside the United States, put USA. There you have it. Go forth and multiply. Be in the integrity of giving. Do it now. Reverend Julie Moret. Good morning. We've got a couple highlighted announcements for you today. You can visit agapelive.com for more information and to find out about all of our weekly offerings. All times listed are Pacific time. Tune into Reverend Michael's Take Back Your Mind podcast. This week, Reverend Michael's guest is Ajit Nawaka. Ajit is a groundbreaking entrepreneur, author, and co-founder of Mind Valley and Evercoach, two of the world's leading personal growth and coaching platforms. And be sure to check out the next episode of Take Back Your Mind Life Question of the Week, Building Self-Worth After Job Loss and Life Changes. And that's this Friday. Watch or listen to Take Back Your Mind and the Take Back Your Mind Life Question of the Week with Michael B. Beckwith on YouTube, iTunes, Spotify, wherever you get your podcasts. And subscribe to receive alerts when new shows drop each Wednesday and Friday. Join the celebration next Sunday, November 24th at the 9 and 11.30 a.m. services as we pack the sanctuary with joy, music, and most importantly, you. Come on up to Agape. And for those of you who join us online, create your own at-home anniversary watch party. You can make sure to capture the festivities on video and then send them to us so that we can share your videos during our anniversary month. Stay tuned at agapelive.com for details on how to upload your watch party video. And if you're planning an anniversary watch party with friends and family, and you want to join Reverend Michael during the service next week, live via Zoom, email watchparty at agapelive.com by Tuesday, November 19th for details and your chance to Zoom live with us next week. So you've got two options. One, you could video your watch party with friends and family and then upload it to Agape. Stay tuned at agapelive.com for the ways to upload your video. Or you could send an email by this Tuesday to watch party at agapelive.com on information about how to Zoom live with us next week. We can't wait to be with you. And for meditation today, you've been listening to Soak Sound Frequency Therapy, the clinically proven healing protocol that pairs positive affirmations with specific sound frequencies. We've got up to 30 different frequencies to choose from to provide energetic and cellular alignment. You want to try this for free for a month? I know you do. Go to soak.com, S-O-A-A-K.com, use code AGAPE, and receive a 30-day free trial. Soak is health savings account and flexible spending account approved. You can sign up today and get your soak on. Odyssey, our young adults ministry, is held every second Friday of the month online and every fourth Friday of the month in person. So they are meeting in person this Friday. For more information, visit the website and look under Youth and Family Ministry. Agape's Common Unity Ministry has a wonderful opportunity just for you. Join us as we assist Spirit Awakening Foundation to set up and serve their Thanksgiving fiesta. That's Tuesday, November 26th at the historic Crenshaw Fire Station. Spirit Awakening Foundation serves incarcerated children, teens in our schools, and young adults. And it's one of the first arts organizations to bring holistic mindfulness practices into the juvenile prison system. If you'd like to serve at this event, let us know the, and right away by emailing cuinaction at agapelive.com for the details. So many opportunities here. Pick something and dive in. Many blessings to you. Thank you, Reverend Julie. Let's just turn within and give thanks as we receive the flow of generosity and love through our offerings and donations today. We also see the spiritual center glowing 
with the activation of new possibilities and being, being fully fueled and funded by the presence of God through each and every one of us. And it's all happening right now. And so it is. Amen. For those in the sanctuary that want to give a check or to cash, there's an usher at the back of the sanctuary with a white basket. You may do that as you exit. Let's all rise at this moment. I'm talking about all the beings around the planet. Let's all rise together. There's 100, over 180 countries that tune in throughout the course of the week uh, for the live stream of this practice of meditation that's affecting the newest fear of the planet. So as we rise up, we just feel our back is straight. We feel strong. We feel connected to the earth. We feel connected uh, to the cosmos. And we forgive ourselves for everything. We forgive ourselves. We forgive everyone. We take nothing personal. I'm tired of the guilt we let go of all the guilt. That brings me pain. All the shame. Remember, guilt and shame are not our spiritual practice. That's other there religions. A part of their religious canon and heredity is to feel guilty. Not us. We are celebrants of the divine presence. We enter into a state of eternal forgiveness for all mistakes and begin again and again and again and again and again. We surrender. We surrender to the great potential that's within our very being. We hear this. I forgive me. I forgive, I forgive me. Everything. Everything that, I Everything that I've been holding on to. I let go. Oh, I surrender. I'm ready for my great change, my dynamic moment by moment by moment transformation. And it's all happening right now. We feel it in our bones, the tuning forks of our body temple. And we allow it to be so. And so it is. Amen. Peace and blessings, everyone. Have a beautiful and bright day. The next service will begin at 8.30 Pacific time. That's our meditation service. And then 9 a.m. Pacific time will be our worship celebration fellowship service. Of course, 11 a.m and 11.30 a.m. service as well. Have a beautiful day. We'll see you a little later.